This week is going to be extremely busy in terms of economic data, a few significant earnings, and the possibility of a continued market bounce or rejection and new lows, all of which we will cover in this video. Let's start with the economic data this week. On Monday, we have consumer inflation expectations, which I don't think will be a big mover at all. On Tuesday, you have PPI month over month, which we are expecting to be 0.1% last month was 0.2% for your headline PPI number. That will be the first piece of significant data that we have this week. However, as I've previously stated on this channel, I don't think that inflation or the market is particularly concerned about it right now unless we get, say, hotter than expected data. In other words, I think that the markets are generally comfortable with the fact that inflation is declining, and if it does so more quickly than anticipated, that's actually a bad sign for the economy. Because the last thing you want is deflation deflation is worse than inflation, and then you're really looking at a severe risk recession. Just remain in the same general area where it has been, so PPI can be significant, but I don't think it will be a major market driver. Bosick will speak with you on Tuesday at 1.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You offered him or her some food. On Wednesday, you'll receive the CPI once more. I don't think the markets will move much if the core CPI for the month doesn't come in higher than anticipated we're anticipated we're anticipating 0.2%. Despite the fact that the projection is for a 0.3% monthly increase, it will be negative if the temperature falls or rises more or less than anticipated. It's just my view, but I don't think it will lead to particularly positive market performance. Right now, I believe the economy's numbers are everything. As long as core annual inflation remains around 3.2%, the rate of core monthly inflation will remain modest. We were 3.3% last month, which indicates a slight decline. It is anticipated that the annual rate of inflation would decrease from 3% to 2.9% and increase from minus 0.1% to 0.2% on a monthly basis. Let me know what you think um, we could actually see for inflation. Uh, coming Wednesday, you have seen container freight shipping prices really starting to rise recently and that has some people concerned about the reflation that we could see, although I don't think that is very likely at this point I. I. I do think consumers are revolted against higher prices by far the most important day for this upcoming week is going to be Thursday, August 15th. In my personal opinion, you will get retail sales month over month. On last month, you came in at 0%. We are expecting positive 0.3%, if that's the kind of. Number we get, I expect markets will be very happy on that news. If we get a negative number or another, Let's call it 0.1 or 0% number, just, just in a lower than expected number. I don't think it's going to be that big of a problem, but if you get a negative number, yeah, that's going to be an, an a big problem, okay, but just barely missing estimates coming in a little bit lower, I think the markets can actually um, still rally on that because, again, the markets are going to start. To form this mentality of it could have been worse, 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 and... Uh, um, that's what I think could start this week. Uh, so retail sales is the most important data point of this week, in my personal opinion, which any other normal time, it's always been CPI, but I think um, markets are more focused on the economy now than inflation. You will get export prices and import prices month over month, as well as your export prices um, and import prices year over year. And this will move the estimate for the Atlanta Fed GDP PM now tracker, which is currently sitting at about 2.9% for Q3 GDP, uh, the average um, economist estimate is about 1.8% uh, Q3 GDP. So those numbers will move the needle for your GDP. P estimates, you will also get other things, um, inventories, uh, industrial production, manufacturing production, and business inventories that will also move those GDP estimates, but beyond retail sales initial jobless claims is probably going to be the next most important catalyst. Um, all of this data comes out at 8.30 in the morning Eastern Standard Time, by the way, on Thursday, we are expecting 232,000 initial jobless claims for the week of August 10th. Last week, we came in at 233. Zero, zero, zero initial jobless claims. And that was actually the catalyst that gave us the best green, green day that the, the highest gain in a year for the SP500 was coming in seven. Zero, zero, zero lower than expected for initial jobless claims. So I think that's still going to be important. Now, New York Empire State Manufacturing Index expecting that to be roughly the same as last month, around the minus six retail sales excluding autos are predicted to increase by 0.1% month over month. But the Philadelphia Fed Manufacturing Index came in at or is predicted to come in at seven, which is a little worse. That one will also be watched by Wall Street, especially when it comes to store sales, you know? Philadelphia's economy was hurt by dollar amounts spent on capital and Philadelphia Fed jobs in Philadelphia, we'll see how that goes. 
but the Philadelphia Fed prices paid and new orders will be the most important parts of that monthly report. Full Musam also talks at 9.30 in the morning, but you shouldn't expect much from that, so that's really your major. What's going on for Thursday? Harker is also set to speak, and he does so at about 1 p.m. I think that the next market move, which could be as much as 2%, will happen on Thursday, based on the data. At 8.30 a.m. On Friday, building licenses will be given out. I don't think this is a big reason, but it has been because more building permits mean more homes, which means less price rise in homes. From the market's point of view, inflation is not as big of a deal as it is for the economy, so I don't think that will change anything. But let's be honest how people in Michigan feel about things will be important. We think the main number on Friday will be 66.7, which is a little bit consumer hopes in Michigan are expected to drop from 68.8 to 68.2, and the current state of the state is expected to drop from 62.2, and the current state of the state is expected to drop from 62.7 to 62.3. The rate of inflation is projected to stay around 2.9% for the next year, the same as what you saw last month. It's interesting that you think the most important number from the survey will go up, but you think customer expectations and current conditions will go down from last month. But this could be because of a mistake in the way the data is shown, since I don't see how the top number could go up if these other two parts are expected to go down. To shorten it, there will be a lot of attention on consumer spending this coming week, because it makes up almost 70% of the economy. On Monday, a lot of companies that don't seem to be connected will report their earnings, and on Tuesday, Home Depot will trade before the market opens. We can depend on Home Depot a lot. There's a new bank on Tuesday and after work, but that's it. Dole and a few other companies like UBS also report. However, that can be useful again. This is a more high-end business that people use for do-it-yourself projects and home repairs. Wednesday morning market Cisco is planned to happen after work on Wednesday. That's most likely going to be the biggest one this week. Walmart, a big company, and Alibaba are in Thursday's pre-market. Around 2007, Walmart was one of the first signs that people were slowing down in general. I'm going to pay close attention to what Walmart says because I think they are the best company to tell us about the business and consumers. A lot of my fears will go away if Walmart says customers are happy and spending money. If Walmart says bad things about customers and thinks they will slow down even more, I will take that as evidence, if you will. Walmart is without a doubt the most important company, even if Wall Street doesn't pay it much attention. John Deere um, Grab with a few other service providers Thursday after regular business hours, applied materials could be important for semiconductors. On Friday, Flower Foods and a couple of other smaller companies are reporting earnings. This week's earnings schedule doesn't include any big companies that will likely move the markets, but Home Depot and Walmart need to say nice things about customers. I don't know if Wall Street will pay attention to any negative comments made about customers in conference calls or anything else. It's unclear how the markets will react to that, but it's something I will be paying close attention to. Before we go any further in this video, I'd like to share this clip with you. It's from Renaissance Duta, who has become a well-known figure in the investing world in recent months. You'll also see Josh Brown in it, and he says, I have no confidence that the unemployment rate will stay where it is. I think this is very important information for people who are investing in markets today.